Buhay! This is Teacher Rusvi, your tourist guide sa paglalakbay sa mundo ng musika. Let's learn music while having fun because music is life! Tara, samahan mo ako sa ating aralin. Musical Ocean, Musical Ocean school building, people ba? It has many rooms. What if this school building doesn't have any room? Ikaw, yung mga kapatid mo, your friends from other grade levels and sections, magkakasama in one just room? Paano kaya magiging pag-aaral ninyo? Maging maayos kaya ito? Or it will just create chaos or kaguluhan? Kasi magkasama kayo lahat, halo-halo kayo doon. Siyempre, maging magulo dahil iba-iba kayong mga grade levels and sections. What makes a good school building then? Maganda at maayos ang isang school kapag maraming rooms! May sariling classroom ang bawat grade levels. At meron din mga offices like the principal's office, faculty room, music room, clinic pa pang mga rooms. Paano naman nabubuo ang isang classroom? Ano ang nilalagay ng mga karapentero upang mabuo ang isang classroom or isang room? Tumpa! The walls! If we relate that in music, when we want to write a good and organized musical composition, we need walls to divide the different notes and rest into measures. And that wall in music is called Pauline. Our today's lesson is about uses of Pauline's to indicate beats in simple time signatures. What is a bar line? A bar line is a vertical line placed on a staff to divide music into measures. Why do we need bar lines in music? We have learned that music is made up of many notes and rests. We use par lines to break the whole musical compositions into smaller groups of notes and rests. Grouping of notes and rests into patterns helps the composer and the performer in reading the music because it is organized as it is based on the number of beats set by the time signature. If we don't put bar lines, our singing would be like the passion. Free flowing, no meter, anything goes. Ask your mom and dad what passion is. Ginagawa po natin ito tuwing buwan ng Abril. So, bar lines are like walls of our school building or our house. We put walls to make divisions. There are four different types of bar lines. First, we have the single bar line. This single bar line means to go to the next measure. Parang go on na go on lang. Can you identify the bar line in this musical score? Ayan! Very good! Number two. Double dotted bar line. This bar line means to repeat or go back to the section where there is another repeat sign and repeat it once again. If there is no other sign, go back to the beginning and repeat everything up to that sign. Look at the score. Where are the repeat signs? So everything from the first repeat sign to the next repeat sign, we are going to repeat. Next, next musical score. How many repeat sign do you see? Yes, there's only one. So what are we going to do? Where will we start repeating? Since isa lang po ang repeat sign, we will repeat from the beginning up to the repeat sign na ating makikita. 
Gets niyo po ba, kids? Next, number three, double bar line. Double bar line has two thin lines, which means go to the next section. This section can be the introduction, verse, chorus, bridge, coda, and outro of a song. Where are the double bar lines in this score? You look at the figure enclosed with the green box. This means this song has one, two, three sections. At the end of every section, we use the double bar line. Usually, long songs use or have double bar lines. Number four, end bar line. End bar line has one thin and thick lines. This means end of the music. Wala na, tapos na. Where do we find the end bar line? Yes, sa end of the song. Kaya nga ang tawag sa kanya ay end bar line. Maliwanag po ba kids? How to use the bar line? So madali lang kids. Just remember our lesson on value of notes and rest and on the time signatures. To put or draw the bar line on the staff, all we have to do is to make sure that the number of beats of the notes and rest is the same as indicated in the time signature. See the number above? Check this one. What is the time signature? What is the value of the notes and rest in this measure? Why? Let's add them. When the added notes rest is already the same to what the time signature indicated, it's time for you to draw or put the bar line. Here are the steps on how to put or draw the bar line. Number one, check the top number of the time signature. Bakit? Kasi po diba, the number of up tells the number of beats for every measure number two count or write the value of no of beats of the notes and rest number three add the note rest one after the other draw a bar line when the sum of the notes and rest is the same as in the top number of the time signature ganun lang kids kadali let's check on this pattern what is the time signature how many beats should be in every measure? Okay. Let's write the value of notes and rest so it will be easy for us to add them later. Let's add them one by one. One half plus one half equals. One plus one half is one and a half plus one half equals two. Is it the same as the number in the time signature? Not yet. So, let's continue adding. Let's add a quarter note. What's the sum? Yes, three. Is it the same number in the time signature? Yes, yes, yo. So, time for to draw the bar line. Ganun lang. Let's add the notes rest on the next measure. How many beats are there? Yes. Three beats. Is it the same as indicated in the time signature? Yeah, so time to draw the bar line. Next measure, measure three. Try to do it. How many beats are there? Easy lang, diba? One plus one plus one equals three. So draw the bar line na. Last measure. What's the sum of the notes and rest? Yes, it's three beats. So let's draw the end bar line since this is the end of the pattern. Let's check the pattern on two four time signature. What's the time signature? Write the value of beats of the notes and rest. Let's add them one by one until we reach the number two. Why? Because the time signature is in 2-4. 1 
1 plus 1? Yes, it's 2. So, bar 9. Next, 1 half plus 1 half equals 1. Plus 1 equals 2. So, bar 9 ulit. Next. Oh, so easy. Half note has two beats, so bar line na agad. Next, 1 plus 1 half plus 1 half equals 2 bar line. Next, 1 plus 1 half plus 1 half equals 2 bar line na ulit. Next, 1 plus 1 half plus 1 half equals 2 bar line na naman. Maliwanag po ba kids? Alam niyo na ba kung paano at saan ilalagay ang mga bar lines? Try to do this on your own. Remember the steps I gave you earlier. I'm giving you 10 seconds to do it. Kaya mo yan! Okay, let's answer! What's the time signature? What's the value or beats of the notes and rest? Let's add them. 1 plus 1 equals 3 plus 1 equals 4. Shall I put the bar line now? Yes, cause it's the same as the indicated in the time signature. Next, 1 plus 1 half is plus 1 half is plus 2 is Four. So, bar line na. Next, one plus one half equals one and a half plus one is two and a half plus one is three and a half plus one half equals four. Is your answer the same as this? Wow naman! Happy akong naintindihan mo ang aralin tungkol dito. Good job for you! Let's move on to exercises. Isip, isip para tatalas ang isip. Get your show me board and pen. Let's start rolling. Ready? Go! Find the letter of the rhythmic pattern that correctly uses the bar line.
all got a perfect score. Can't believe it. Time to get off now. That's the end of our lesson today. Mission accomplished, teacher. Pagsama sa akin sa ating learning adventure sa araw na ito. If you're new in my channel, hit like and subscribe and share. Hit the bell button too so that you'll be updated with new music video lessons.